Mama, yes, did you see the money I sent to your account? I was even about to call you. What is it for? Yes, um, I want you to come to Lagos tomorrow morning. Uh, really? I hope all is well. Mama, all is not well. Your only son has been married for three years. And the wife, Sonia, has refused to give him a child. And you think all is well, Mama? Something must be done. You have to come to Lagos so that we can address this thing peacefully. Mm. If I tell you that I am not bothered, I am a liar. Was it not yesterday that I was discussing it with Johnson on the phone? The funny thing is that the wife is a doctor. Anyway, I'm coming to Lagos so that we can find solution to this issue. Medical doctor Mumbo. Medical doctor that cannot help herself. Doctor Ndimbo. Doctor my leg, my foot. Mama, please just come to Lagos tomorrow. Let, 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 let's know what to do about this whole thing. We have to solve it immediately. Yes, Mama. You know this is our only brother. Our, 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 your only son. Biko. Okay, Mama. Don't worry yourself. All right. Um, honey. I want to make use of um, tissue. I, I discovered that uh, we, we, we don't have tissue anymore. So I was thinking if, um, I don't know if you have some or if you can give me one to buy or one or two for for for. for. Be -be 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 -be. Hey, what did I just hear? Obedi! Hey! Chineke! You cannot buy tissue. You should be ashamed of yourself asking your wife money to buy tissue. That's the height of it. That is the height of it. Honey, you know now, when I had money, when I was bed was all bad, you know why I, I buy this. Shut up your mouth! Clean your mouth! When you had money, I get them before no be property. You get them before now, in echo. In echo. You don't have it. You should be ashamed of yourself. Asking your wife for how much is tissue. Look at you. Look at how you've reduced yourself. Shua! Now you have it before you. Tissue 15 naira. I, I am, I am, I am so ashamed of you. I am so ashamed of you. What nonsense. Tissue 15 naira you don't have. Because wrong news are coming, 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 coming. Nonsense. Rubbish. What are you doing here? It's almost 10 p.m. You ought to be sleeping by now, Mama. My son, come and sit down. What is wrong, Mama? I couldn't sleep. Where can we sleep? I needed to talk to you before going to bed. My son, it is not as if I was so sick that 
I couldn't manage myself in the village. But I was so worried about you. I knew something is wrong that made you not to come home for these past four years. And after seeing you, my fears were confirmed. <sighs> Mama, you, you see, um, after I lost that money in that business transaction, I couldn't summon the courage to start all over again. The shame and the burden taught so much on me. Coupled with the fact that I pay a huge amount of money as a rent in this apartment. Of the truth, I do not even know where to start from. I I become so discouraged to pick up again. Hmm. Obey the mom. Mama. Can you listen to me? A man's place is not in the kitchen. I know you children of this day uh, 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 do things in the name of sharing home responsibilities. But please, stop staying at home. Go out there and meet people. Hang out with friends. By doing that, you will get valuable information you couldn't have gotten if you had stayed in the house. When you go out there, eat whatever you see. Come back in the night. Take your bath and go to sleep. By doing that, you will get back your wife's respect. This is my advice for you. Stop staying in the house. Stop living as if you, there's no more future for you. Stop living as if you are condemned. Please, woman. You are too young to condemn yourself. You are too condemn yourself. Come and kneel down here, let me pray for you. Give me your hand. We pray in Jesus' name. Amen. Almighty Father, I thank you and I bless your holy name for the life of your dear son. Thank you for preserving his life till this day, oh God. I appreciate you. Thanks, sir, Papa. Father, I pray that you show mercy unto your son. Father, this is a child you made a light, but that light is not shining. I bring him before you for you to rekindle that light. You made him a head, not a tail. And that head he will always be. Father, please. Any sin he has committed that brought about his downfall, I pray that you show him mercy. Let your precious blood wipe away every wrong in his life. Let there be mercy again. I pray and I believe that you heard me. Because you never look down on the prayers of widows and the fatherless. Papa, please, show him mercy and your, glory, and your name shall be glorified forever and ever. Amen. In the name of Jesus. Amen. Amen. Thank you. Please, go and sleep. No. Thank you. You have to sleep as well. Where are you going? 
going dressed like that? I'm going out. You're going out? Going out to where? To see a friend, that's much I can say. To see a friend? Without telling me? Huh? You're going out without telling me? But let me ask you, since when did this start? When? This is always the first time. This is always the first time? Okay, very good. Interesting. So how come you did not wash my pants, my unders in the bathroom? Hmm? Oh, you have grown wings. You have grown wings. And why are you like this? You're going out. You didn't even boil water for me to take to have my bath. Is that fair? Is that fair? Is this how we're going to keep living? Huh? Open! My children. Oh, my good morning. Yeah, good morning. Mama, good morning. Good morning. How is my granddaughter? She's fine. How are you this morning? Good. Uh, I, I overheard your people's voice from the inside. I hope all is well. Huh? Uh, Mama, there's no problem. All is well. I made your food and served at the dining, so when you're ready, you go to the dining and eat. And please don't forget to take your drugs. It's I'm going out with Mimi. I'll come back in the afternoon. It's okay, ma'am. Okay. Excuse me. You see this picture you're trying to paint? It will not work for you. You are trying to show Mama a different picture, but I'm going to play you this tape now. I am going to tell Mama everything. You didn't tell Mama that you are, you are, you are jobless. So this is how you are pretending. You are pretending. No, you are pretending! So that when I will see you as a good person, you want to clap for yourself. Clap for yourself! Unala! Mama, in case he did not tell you well, let me kowash it, let me explain it to you. You see your son, he has been jobless for two years. And in those two years, I have been feeding him, clothing him, giving him pocket money. Paying my daughter's school fees. Did I even mention paying the rent for this house? Mother, it's not like I'm complaining. I'm not. But all I am asking him is to do the chores. Yes, sir, pants. I'm let him wash my pants. That is all. Is that too much to ask, Mama? Is that too much to ask? Since he doesn't have anything he's doing. Let him do something. Let him make himself use uh, useful. He should be useful. He's not lazy around. It's okay, I feed you. Please, I, I, I relax. <clears throat> you see, my daughter, let me tell you the truth. Man will always be a man. Mm. It is a very big mistake to write off any man, no matter his condition. <sighs> a woman who is opportuned or in a position to provide for her family, covers her husband's nakedness and handcuff. Such is a virtuous woman. No man ever forgets her. In fact, love, peace, and understanding never elude from that marriage. Uh, Mama, it's not like I'm complaining. He should don't, just do the needful. Don't worry. My daughter, when a woman provides and denies her husband respect, sex, and peace, that woman is leaving an indelible mark in the heart of that man. Mm. He will always carry it. He never forgets. So, um, as you provide, provide with total respect for your husband. Do it with total respect so that there will be peace in your home. And when there is peace, you will be able to relax your body mm. and give us another child. Oh, yes. Mimi is already three years. I need more children. You need them. I need grandchildren. So, mom, I didn't say you're not trying. You're doing your best. But please, 
I want you to be patient. Mm. Things will be fine. I am very, very sure. Because I know the God I'm serving. He never looked down on his children. It's a question of time. Relax. Relax. You know? I have heard you. But he will wash my pants. Mm. Why are you restless? Oh, I'm fine. No, you seem uncomfortable in my house. Hey, listen. My kids are not around. They're in school. And my girls, of course, they're all in my shop. And my husband, yeah, he's always traveling. He's never around. So it's just me and you in my house. Okay, I... So please be comfortable. I... I want to thank you for all your financial assistance towards me. Uh, of a truth, I like you. Sure, I do like you. But you see, you're, you're a married woman. Aside being a married woman, you are my wife's I'm your friend. wife's best friend. Yes, I am. I am. Uh, listen, your wife cares more or less about you. She doesn't care. No, no, ask me a question. What kind of a woman will have a man like you, so handsome and caring, and then she doesn't give you respect? She turned you to a slave, practically. Who does that? I respect the fact that you love and respect her. It's time. I do. You see, the things I hear about you makes me yearn for you. I need you. You see, I, I, I need just, just this one. So make me feel the wrong to feel. Make me just... Trisha, Trisha, Trisha. Oh, just... Get rid of yourself for now. See, I... I understand your situation. And I still want you to understand me as well. Let's assume that I am your husband and your best friend wants to cheat on you with me. How do you feel? I believe you won't like it. Fine, if the only reason you want to assist me is because you want a sexual satisfaction from me, I'm sorry, I have to go. I'm good. You see what I mean? You're about to work out on me. How many men can do that? Work out on me, resist me. You're exceptional. Uh, fine. It's fine. Okay, please. I'm uh, uh, sorry. See, um, why I called you here is because I told you I was going to help you, and I mean it. I am going to help you. And of course, I'm on it already. I want you to meet my cousin. He's based in Germany, but he's around Nigeria now because he wants to have an outlet in Nigeria, Lagos precisely. I'd like you to meet him. I'd like you to meet him, please. Sit down, please. I, I, I don't even know why he's not here yet. Oh. Hey, sure. <laughs> 
Um, ben, better welcome. Um, Obed, that's my cousin Bethel. My best friend's husband. Obed, my cousin Bethel. Good morning, Obed. Morning, Mr. Bethel. Yeah, how are you doing? Very well, thank you. I'm oh, fine. Um, my cousin spoke well about you. And, uh, because of that, I decided not to bother myself with a boring interview of people. Yeah. Yes, of course. Um, I will just go get you guys some steak. I'll be here in the chiffy. Okay, excuse me. So, that's it. So, how is life? How is doing? Very well. Very well. Um, Obed. Yeah. Apart from what my cousin told me, he used to be in business. Yes, I, I used to be in business, but I lost all my money in the business transaction that I did. Oh. Sorry about that. I'm sorry. It's okay. I'm, with such an experience, it means you won't lose money again. Listen, Obed. You've been in charge of our sales in Nigeria. Apart from the 150,000 naira basis salary, we will assess your performance after a month. I think it's Promising. We'll give you the full package. But I don't need to tell you more about that for now. <sighs> okay, um, when am I starting work? Immediately. Immediately? Yes. Count yourself lucky. <laughs> Congratulations. <laughs> Thank you. I. I promise to, to do my best. Sure, sure, thank you. <laughs> we'll see how it goes. You're welcome aboard. <laughs> thank you once again. Yeah, yeah, lucky man. Can't just have a look. She will blow trumpets or go and put this on the TV station that she's coming. Um, Mama, how are people at home? They are fine. Oh, thank God. Hey, uh, ne. Jella, why is it that your stomach is still flat? Like lizard. Eh? Flat like lizard. When do you want to give me grandchildren? What I get? Huh? When do you want to give me grandchildren? Uh, Mama. It is God that keeps children, okay. not me. Mm. And my mm. husband and I are doing all we can as humans. Adama, you know what? I thought that when people have problems like this, they run to doctors like you for solution. But in this case that you are the doctor in question, I'm confused. Eh, Mama? It is wickedness just to tarnish and stop our lineage. And that will not happen. Never. Not while I am still alive. You just got here, so why don't you... Take this bag inside. Take it inside. Very flat bread. like bread. bread. Sliced bread. Lizard. Toast, no toast bread. Mama, eh? yes, no. welcome to your son's house. Yes. So, let me show you to your room. In yes. fact, our room. Our, our room. room. <laughs> God, this idiot. God, this idiot. She wants to show you my son's house. Mama, eh? Nonsense. Mama, eh? I want to guys to pardon me. 